If you guys don't want to miss any future upload of mine, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification so you'll be ready when I upload a new video. And if you want to support me, make sure you click on like on this video. Thanks. Hey, what's up guys? Allah here back with another video. In today's video, I will show you all how you can get the ultimate FPS boost on Fortnite on your low-end PC. Yes, you heard it right. You will be able to play Fortnite smoothly on your low-end PC. This is not clickbait, I really went from having 30 FPS in creative to having 110. This method has not been found on YouTube and I am the first one that will show you how to do it. So yeah, stick till the end of the video so you can get a massive FPS boost on your low-end PC and play Fortnite smoothly with your friends. Before you do anything to your PC, make sure to click on Windows and type in Restore and open the first thing. Then click on Create a Restore Point. While, why do we have to do this? Simply because if you do anything wrong, you can go back to the state of your PC before doing this FPS boost method. Once this is done, you can close out of the application and we can begin today's FPS boosting method. So to begin today's tutorial, click on Windows and type in this PC, click on Properties, then click on System Advanced Settings. Once it loads, click on Settings and here click on Adjust so you can get the best performance. You can enable any feature in case you don't like the, uh, in case you don't like what you get. Then close out of that, go to your settings, type in background and click on background applications, then disable background applications, then click on general and disable everything, diagnosis and comments, click on basic. Disable everything, click on voice and disable it. Then go back to the menu and click on games. Disable Xbox Game Bar, choose it, make sure to let it enable, but this will have a huge impact on your PC performance. Click on Game Mode and disable it. Then after that, click on Graphics Settings and look for your game. If you want to use Fortnite, go to Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binary, Win64, and you have to select every single Fortnite application here. And once you do that, click on it and click on options and click on high performances. Once you're done, go to this, go to the link in the description and download this FPS boost pack. Then once you're done, open it and extract it to your desktop. As you can see, there are many folders. First, let's begin by system optimization. Go to memory duct and if you have a 32 bit PC, click on 32 and if you have a 64 bit PC, click on 64. To check that, click on windows and type in this PC. Go to properties and as you can see, 64 bits. Launch memory duct and click Update it if you want, I am not gonna update it. Then click on file, settings. If you can't edit the settings, just click on clean, clean RAM. And after this, go to settings. Don't touch anything here. Then if you want to, if you wanted to do, to clean up the RAM manually, uh, automatically, just enable this. Personally, I don't want to do it. Close it and then click on clean memory. Click on yes. As you can see, I I have a clean my memory. I went from 39% to 25%. You can close out of the app. Go back and click on park control. 
and install if you have 32-bit, install the 32-bit version and if you have 64-bit, install the 64-bit version. Next, you can click on next, next, install. Then click on disable on everything and put everything on 100%. Then you can close out of the app. Go back and install CC, install CC setup. And once you're done, open CC, CC cleaner. Click on skip to start health check. Close any app that you have open. Once it's done, just close out of CC Cleaner. Just close our C Cleaner. Go to the FPS Boot Pack again and launch this with the administrator rights. Click on one, type in one and click on enter. Then you will have to go and type in everything and type in one, then enter, then two, then enter. I've already done it so I don't have to do it again. After that, just close out of it and click on ultimate power plan. Copy the text in this and click on Windows, type in CMD and launch it with the ministry to write. Just paste the file by right clicking and click on enter. And now it's working. To enable this power plan, just click on, just go to, click on your battery if you have a desktop. Right click on the battery and click on power options. And select ultimate power plan close out of it and right click the file execute it as administrator and then click on one two three and four and then exit out of the program I've already done it so I don't need to do it again after that click on registry optimization and you'll have to do this for all the files here you have to double click it Click on yes and add yes. I've already done it for all the files, so I don't need to do it. Then after that, once you're done, click on ping optimization and do the same thing as you did for the registry optimization. After that, click on input delay optimization, ISLC. Before you launch the IC, before you launch ICLC, click on commands and click on CM and reopen CMD again with admins rights. Then paste them and click on enter. Then open intelligence set by list cleaner. If you if it doesn't open just click on the uh, little arrow and double click on it. Here, click on instructions.txt, as you can see, I have to open it. If, it's, if you can't change the settings here, just click on stop. Here, click on enable custom time resolution and, and run in 0 0.50. Then type in ICLC polling rate to 1000, 10,000. Then free memory is lower, then you have to click on total system memory. You have to copy your total system memory and type in calculator. Then type the number that you get here. And the size is at least as just put in 1024. 24. 1024. Just minimize the app. Once you're done, go back again and click on game optimization. Then click on Fortnite High Priority Registry. If you don't get any FPS boost out of it, just 
go back to normal priority. And after that, click on the Razer Cortex installer and set it up. Then uh, once you're done, launch Razer Cortex. If you don't see Razer Cortex, just click on the little arrow on the, on the bottom of your screen and click on the logo. Click on Launch Cortex. Once Razer Cortex is open, click on Boost and enable everything. If you have very low end PC, just enable everything in here. Once you're done, click on bo System Boost. Click on Analyze. Make sure to click on the little arrow down and click on the fragment games and select the games that you want to take the fragment. What this will do is it will just boost your FPS in those games. Once you're done, just minimize Razor Cortex. Then go to the back again. This, click on Fortnite resolution. Now, this is the most important part of this tutorial since it does give the most FPS boot boost. When I changed these settings, I was getting, when I was using the basic resolution, I was getting 30 FPS. And when I changed to a lower resolution, I was, uh, I am now getting 110 FPS. This is important. The lower the resolution is, the worse the graphics are going to be, but the FPS is going to be higher. Your visual, the graphics are gonna be bad, but you will get more FPS. So if you don't wanna have, if you do, if you want to have a good looking game and have decent FPS, just go to a medium, just go click on a resolution that's not super low. To change the resolution, click on Windows R and type in percent local app data percent. Click on Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and right click on game user settings. Make sure this is not read only and click on apply. Then go to your settings, then launch it and scroll, scroll until you see resolution size and last user resolution size then here for for x type in type in the resolution that's on the left and for y type in the, the resolution on the right you have to do it for this for resolution size x and y and for last com user confirm resolution size x and y once you are done Click on save the file and close it and go ahead and put it on read only. Now click on Fortnite command.txt and launch your Epic Games launcher. Make sure to copy all of the of all of the command. Here for preferred processor, click on open task manager and click on processor. And here, logical processors, the number that's here, you gotta put it on preferred processor. For me, I have four, so I'm gonna put four. Then click on settings and scroll all the way down until you see Fortnite. Click on arguments command and paste in the, f um, and paste in the command line. Then you can close out of Epic Games. Then click on, go to the Fortnite directory where I have the game installed. For me, it's on the D drive and Fortnite. Click on Fortnite game, binary, Win64, and find the Fortnite executables. And what you have to do is right click on them, properties, go to compatibility, and disable full screen optimizations, and click on mode, uh, click on to change PP settings and click on this. You have to do it for all the executables. And once you are done, make sure to reboot your PC so that all the settings are saved. And after that, you can launch Fortnite game by clicking on, by opening Razer Cortex and clicking on Fortnite. 
so yeah that has been it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or any issues make sure to comment them down i will try my best to respond to you guys so yeah see you guys in the next one peace